Good morning, good morning. This is Evangelist LaShawn Pace. Happy Resurrection Day. He lives, he lives. He lives within our souls. You ask me how I know he lives, he lives within my heart. I want to have a devotion this morning and communion with you, the Lord's Supper. We're going to read a scripture, sing a hymn, or sing a song, and we're going to partake in communion. And I thank you for participating and being with me, being with the Lord and me. Let's say it like that. All right, so go, you have time while I sing to go get your unleavened crackers or your unleavened bread and your grape juice. All right, anything that's unleavened. Uh, the Ezekiel bread, I know, is unleavened. And uh, they have some saltine crackers that's unsalted, uh, unleavened. That's what I'm using today. Let us break bread together on our knees. When we fall on our knees with our face to the rising sun oh lord have mercy on my soul you ask me how i know he he lives within my heart because he lives I can face tomorrow because he lives all fear is gone because I know I know I know who holds my future and my life and your life is worth the living just because he lives and we just don't recognize it today but every day and forever the only begotten son of god jesus christ of nazareth he lives Turn with me in your Bibles to 1 Corinthians, the 11th chapter, and we're going to start at the 23rd verse. For I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread and when he had given thanks, let's give thanks. We give thanks to you, Lord Jesus, for the work that you did at Calvary. My Lord, my Lord, we give you thanks. He had given thanks. He break it. All right, get your, get your cracker or get your bread and break it. Let's, let's break it. Oh, Jesus, my Lord, my Lord. Mm, mm, mm. That's symbolic, he said. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat. I get so emotional with this. But before you eat it, he said, Don't eat it and drink it unworthy. Let's repent of all sins now. Father, in Jesus' name, forgive us of all sins, known or unknown. Wash us white in the blood of the Lamb, that we may not take this Holy Communion unworthy. We don't want to take it and drink and eat damnation to our souls. We thank you now. If you're not saved, repent and ask the Lord to come into your life. Never take this communion lightly. Never. So he took the bread and he said, eat. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. 
take, eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. They broke his body, not his bones, y'all. But those, what they call them cattail things, they put them and whipped them with him. And when they pulled them, some of his flesh came out with it. After that same manner also, he took the cup, get your grape juice. When he had supped, saying, this cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as oft as ye drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, let's drink it in the name of the Lord Jesus. As often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, you, ye do show the Lord's death till he come. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily eateth and drinketh damnation to himself. Not discerning the Lord's body. For this cause many are weak and sickly among you and many sleep. Many have died from taking the Lord's communion in vain. Wherever you are, he said, as often as you do it, not just today, Resurrection Day, but get your children together, get the family together, take this communion in the name of the Lord. And after you take it, don't go run, get your phone and start texting. Don't get on the phone and start talking. Go somewhere, don't watch TV, go somewhere and get in his presence and think about what he did at Calvary for your soul. Don't just start doing anything, y'all. Don't, don't desecrate it. It's too sacred. We thank you, Father, for sending your only begotten Son, Jesus. We thank you for the sweet Holy Communion today. We thank you for resurrecting us. What is dead in your life that God needs to resurrect? Give it to him. Like I was saying, as often as you do it, whether you're in the jailhouse or the convalescent's home, in the hospital, wherever you are, take this communion. If the Holy Spirit said take it, it's for a reason. It brings healing to your mind, to your soul, and to your body. And it brings healing to your families. Yes, it does. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. And I give you praise. In Jesus' name, thank you again for joining the Lord and me, the Holy Trinity. <laughs> thank you. God bless you.